Let me tell y'all boys about the stupidest way to get suspended in history. I'm talking about like real S tier level of stupidity that really got your boy kicked up out of a school and pretty much ruined the rest of his year simultaneously. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this event pretty much takes the cake for all of mankind down in human history. So to begin this story, we're going to have to jump all the way back to the first grade. And you know, for a story like this, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are kind of wondering, how in the f*** does the worst suspension to ever happen in the history of mankind even take place in the first grade? Well, that's a great question, and we're going to answer that today. So way back in the day, your boy used to hang out with a lot of females in school. You know, he grew up with a lot of females. So he was always pretty much comfortable talking and kicking it with the girls, telling little jokes and things like that. You know, I used to have this running joke that they used to eat up and found it hilarious. Uh, something about a cookie, like me asking one of my parents for a cookie or something like that. But the way that I said it, they thought it was like really cute. I used to be on some, you know, and, you know, begging for these girls' attention, like, oh, I want the cookie, I want the cookie, and, you know, they'd be eating it up, talking about, oh, Steph, like, do the cookie story, oh, Steph, sit here, sit with us, kick with us, but, you know, either way, eventually they got sick of it, as, you know, anybody would, and should have gotten sick of it, and, you know, they kicked me to the curb, I was instantly a dub, uh, got booted pretty quick, so, you know, after that happened, of course, I found myself sitting back with the fellas, but, you know, I was having a... It was almost like a midlife crisis, if you will. I was sitting back over there with the fellas dying for the women's attention. You know, I, I just couldn't understand, like, what do I got to do to get back up in there? Like, I got to get back over there. You know, they, they need me. Sure enough, they didn't fucking need me. They didn't even need anything to do with me. But needless to say, I'm sitting there talking to my boy. And, you know, he comes up with this real ringer of an idea. Uh, I'm not really sure if my man had an older brother that was kind of feeding him this nonsense, but you know, he looked, he looked me dead in my face and he was pretty much like, you want to get back in, uh, back in their good graces, huh? You want to be, you want to be the man again? And I was like, yeah, man, kick it out. Just let me know what it is. Like, what do you got for me? He was like, you know, doing all that weird shit with his mouth. He was like, you're going to have to show him, uh. You're going to have to show them the meat. And, you know, the thing about kids is kids are kids are stupid as shit, man. I mean, I was a dumbass little kid. So, you know, without even second guessing it, I pretty much looked him right back. And I was just like, yeah, yo, that sounds like the move. You know what I mean? So not much contemplating even went on about this idea throughout the day. You know, it was pretty much just time to wait, wait, strike. You know what I mean? So... Went through first period, second period, third period, boom, now it was lunch, you know, lunch kicked off pretty normal, everybody stood in line, got their little lunch tray, chocolate milk, square pizza, you know what I mean, everybody knows them square slices used to be hitting, but anyway, if you got plain cheese, by the way, I'ma just add, like, you were a straight up gump, like, if you weren't rocking with the pepperoni, something was wrong with you, but, uh, Either way, got my little tray, everybody sat down, everything was cool. So now, sitting at the boys' table, the boys' and girls' table was back-to-back. Back. So, they were pretty much running parallel with each other, you know? So, sat down, eating the lunch, and you know, without any preparation or anything like that, uh, your boy pretty much stood up, turned around to the girls' table, said, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And the girls was like, what? And I was pretty much just like, bah, straight whip him out. You know what I mean? And I mean, the problem with that is, you know, once again, it's it's first grade, fellas. So, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but in the first grade, I wasn't really packing next to nothing. So, you know, the girls pretty much did what they rightfully should have done. And, you know, they screamed. A bunch of commotion kind of broke out. You know what I mean? So teachers ran over there, more or less, you know, like they would if everybody's screaming and a bunch of kids are freaking out. 
And, uh, you know, the girls kind of just turned back around. The teacher's like, hey, what's going on here? The girls kind of just turned back around, carried on with their square pizza. And uh, here goes my man's pretty much dropping every dime that he could ever drop and also acting like he wasn't the one that suggested this grand idea in the first place. But, yeah, he pretty much sold me up the river. So teacher grabs me, takes me on over to the principal's office, and the principal is pretty much bewildered. Um, he's sitting there trying to have this very serious conversation while also just trying to figure out what was going on in my mind that uh, made me want to pull my meat out. So he's just kind of sitting there like, yeah, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Steph, like, you know, pulling your meat out at such a young age, like he's trying to be tender about it for my sake, because he's not trying to mentally scar me, but also he's not trying to like, let me unleash the mental scarring upon all these other kids. So like, he was just in a real weird place. So, you know, eventually he just folds up and he's like, you know, we're going to just have to call your mom. So that's kind of where I was like, oh man, like if we could do anything, can we just not call my mother? You know, my mother... She's just not the one to be played with with these situations. Uh, she's from Trinidad and Tobago. She's really not the one to play these Mickey Mouse American games with anybody. So I'm sitting there kind of telling the principal, you know, I'll walk home. I'll never come to school again. Like, please just don't call my mother. But, you know, he's already calling because why is he going to listen to this little kid? Anyway, mother picks up. She's on the phone. She's wilding out. She's already hostile because the school's calling. So, you know, he's trying to explain to her, hey, you need to come pick up your son. She's already on the phone like, Stefan, what did you do? Da, 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 da. And I'm sitting there like, oh, my God. So then he finally kicks it out what the suspension was for and everything got silent, you know. It was pretty much like uh, the game Portal. Uh, my mother was on the phone and then she was there. Um... Yeah, after that, she pretty much took me home and, you know, y'all can kind of fill in the blanks. Uh, it was a five-day suspension. Uh, she pretty much beat me for five days. Um, she gave me head over heel ass whipping sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, every now and then, I would get a special treat of the back of a wooden spoon. And if I was lucky, I might just get a foot in my ass and get sent to bed. Uh, yeah, man, moral of the story is don't show your meat in school because bad things will happen because of it. I mean, it went on to haunt me for years, brother. Like, <laughs> I remember, like, as I got older and, you know, wanted to start talking to some of these girls that I went to elementary school with, you know, middle school, high school and stuff, like, they would just straight up slide me, like, hey, boy, like, we remember your little meat having a show, son, like, you ain't even about to get away with that, like, <laughs> get out of here, boy.